started off as a painter years ago, then got into video art, um, then got into performance video, got into doing kind of machine-based you know, art, and through all of those different experiences, um, I was very much interested in physicality. So um, when I make work, it's always about how the user uses a piece with their body. Computers by themselves um, are interesting and amazing tools, but um, they never really struck me as, a, um, as the complete medium. I like to consider the user or sometimes um, the audience, if you will, you have to feel it as opposed to just you know, sit back. So the, the, you know, the fine line between objectivity and subjectivity is just sort of sliced and there's, you know, you're in the piece and there's nothing you can do about it except experience the thing. And this is why I got into Max. This is a sketch, and it shows how I work, and in some ways it's very much like a Max patch. I find stuff, a uh, piece on the bottom is uh, a dental chair, and then this piece here is a big, uh, gnarly pneumatic piston. The key to the way this works is the making things modules allow you to connect sensors and drive stepper motors and drive motors, and pneumatics and hydraulics with Max. The one thing that I find fascinating is that the people who work there I, I think of them almost as cultural heroes in a way because of the objects that they offer and some of the ideas that come through, you know, and some of the objects they design, the interface now with Java and JavaScript, um, all the jitter stuff. There's some ideas that you read about these things and you read about the objects for the first time and they open up all sorts of vistas because it makes you think about things in different ways that you didn't think about before. And I'm a kind of a real-time person and to be able to see things in real time, react to it, you know, create sensors or just manipulate the number boxes and stuff in real time is so much more productive for me. I mean, I can see what I'm getting right there and you get that sort of instant gratification. You know, Max MSP Jitter allows you to really create your own tools. So it works on multiple levels. You know, you're, you're deciding what you want to make, you create the tool to make it, and you have the understanding on how to make the tool and that informs, you know, your, your, uh, the outcome. It's really allowed me to do what I want to do, you know, both in my artwork and also in teaching.